Hey guys, Adam and Andrew back today with a, another episode, episode 2 I believe, of pulling the 4.2 out of the A6. Today we're going to work on a few miscellaneous things such as the uh, air box and the coolant reservoir. Join us today in our adventures. Alright, uh, we got the air intake out and the coolant reservoir out. The air intake just had some clips and then I undid uh, just a little clamp right there and the overflow had a connector on the bottom and just some hose clamps. Alright, welcome back guys. We're uh, working on a couple things here. We disconnected these clips and we took out the rest of the air intake back there. I just disconnected the power steering lines and drained the reservoir and uh, we disconnected this very long tube that was plugged in right there. And there's one other. This. Oh yes, this Down there. was right there. And the hose is in very poor shape. <laughs> oh my god. We're going to take out the battery. We got one heater hose off and the bottom one is down there. And I just got the clamp off. And once we pull the battery out, we should be able to get to that a little bit better. All right, we got the battery out, and the um, the heater hose is disconnected. All right, so we're uh, taking off the fender now, and uh, there were many many bolts to take off the fender because to take this fender off, you also have to remove the side skirt down along there. So the last two bolts holding it in are these two here and uh, I picked up an earthquake impact ratchet because it was on sale for 65 bucks and it's been going to work today. So after these two come out we should be good to take the fender off. so many things holding this in. That was so bad. The weight is one pound, literally. <sighs> well, uh, there's the fender off. That's uh, not a fun process. You have to obviously take off the bumper and the side skirt and about all of these bolts to take just that three. off. Yes, probably more. I should count these up. I don't know. There could be 50 in there. And here we are on the other side. We've probably forgotten one. Oh, we've Did forgotten. Did you do those? Oh yes, they're uh, they're uh, Phillips. All right, cut. Well, uh, these are the last bolts here. We are, of course, using non-impact with an impact, but well, this, this doesn't, doesn't have much torque. Yeah. So. Oh my God, he stripped that one. I don't even need this extender. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably hard enough. There we go. Much better without the wobble. It uh, it does go to work most of the time, but anyways, this should come out now. And uh, of course, we forgot to peel that back. There's so even more up in here. There's uh, two more up there now. <laughs> Luckily, they're out in seconds with the new earthquake. Again, there's all the bolts. This is just from the passenger side. Yes, it weighs about. I'd say two pounds. Uh, maybe even less. The side skirts literally weigh more. So, well, that's off now. 
I did count these. I had 46 in my dish, and uh, there's probably some around here somewhere. So that was nearly 100 bolts to take off both fenders. All right, we're going to test out the strength and power of the $37 Chicago Electric on um, the snub mount. Yeah, like it's like an extra motor mount yes. of some sort. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today. We got a few more things done under the engine. We got the fenders and side skirts off. Uh, next episode, we'll be going to work underneath the car. We have the car fully jacked up now and prepped for that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.